what's up guys welcome back to a safa sub 10 cars in this episode guys you you know i've been looking for a pickup i'm tired of taking things in the audi i always carry things in the audi i carry sofas i carry plyboard i carry everything in the audi so i'm in the market for a pickup truck and my first pickup that i'm, I'm gonna look at is an electric pickup the radar um, I'm gonna you know in check it out see if I like it see if, see how practical it is I'm gonna check out the exterior the interior so you know it have to be it have to drive comfortable it has to look nice and all that stuff so let's get to it So guys, let's let's get straight to it. The first thing you see when you see this car, it screams ridge line. You know the the shape of it, all that stuff, but it's not a ridge line, it's actually a radar, it's a Chinese um, car company and they make electric cars. This is an electric pickup and yeah the wheels wheels are a bit small but obviously aftermarket wheels um or an option maybe a lift kit it's a bit low it's 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 a little small but seems very practical um the trunk trunk have enough space seems like it have enough space oh it's, it's locked i'm gonna open it yeah it's supposed to be somewhere under here Oh God, let me open again. Oh, it's on this. See, that's why I need to take the cars, drive them for a little bit and learn them. But that's me, I learn as I go and I'm taking you on my journey. So, yeah, I'm fun slide, you know. Go inside. People always travel like this, man. People always travel like this, they have no space. Behind the camera guys, you probably see his reflection, it's Herbie. Herbie, I have the camera today, usually I have the camera myself, but I'll put Herbie um, link in info in the description. You guys can go follow him, he has his own YouTube channel, and we're also chewing together, so let me jump out. Ah. So closing the trunk, you see this, you can call this, you call this trunk? I right, the back, the lid. You see the side radar, the light, I like the light. And step back a little early, let me show them this. This can look like a British flag, do no? Look like a British flag. But it's pretty cool though. It's pretty cool. RD6, that's, I guess that's the model of it. So before we go to the front guys, let's go back in the, the lid, let me show you. Let's open back the trunk. Uh, no to open it, no. Right here guys, we have, boom. Can charge anything, can use the power tools. Um, only if I have any power tools in there, I could test. Yeah, you have your regular plug in there, you have your British plugs, you have this type of outlet. And guys, I heard, I heard that you can actually charge another vehicle from this, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright. So yeah, I think this is the fast charging area. For, this is what's fast charger. The other side is for regular charging. Let me show you guys. It's actually being charged right now. So this is my charger, my home charger. And we're actually charging the car now. So guys, I know I sat inside the trunk, but this is the the box that the the coach came in the other day and if i had this car i wouldn't i wouldn't need to wouldn't need to put it in the audi like a glove well just gonna leave that inside there guys <laughs> but yeah it's um pretty practical for what i usually do it can hold some tires for sure can hold the Audi tires for sure. I'm gonna put the Audi tires in it 
um, getting a call from the wife. So the front guys, front looks pretty cool, it looks nice. Um, like the lights, like the front bumper, it, I guess they will have, you know, aftermarket stuff for the front to kind of protect it. Because people are going to use this off-road to carry stuff and all that. To make it look a lot tougher, you know, but I mean, I, I like it. The interior guys looks pretty, you know, luxurious, looks nice. Um, you know, you have your shifter, you know, beer, you have your drive select, you have eco, comfort, and sport, you have traction, you have your down and listen, you have start, stop, and, uh, it, and it also holds it on um, the hill. It has um, a park there, start, AC, all, everything you need. We're not going to touch on the infotainment system, it's in Chinese right now, and um, this is the it's a demo so you know everything is in Chinese for now it's weirdy they have a, a gas a gas station um, thing <laughs> when it's starting yeah, yeah. enough um, storage you have you know nice dashboard nice kitchen on the dashboard uh, you know all the basic things you need all the, the controls on the steering wheel it's all there and what else? More storage. Everything. You have the pocket there. The box seats. A lot of space in the box seat. I'm gonna go around there and show you guys. So that's my driving position right there. And you can see I'm, I can put my foot in here or I can just open it. Or my seat can go up a little bit more. You know, I'm being a bit too comfortable in the front there. You know, but yeah guys, you can lift up this seat, more storage. I guess you have to put it back. Um, let me see if I, I can open the back. And guys, this is the first time I'm doing all of this. I didn't even know that that, that strap was there at the side. Lift it up, see this right here. So this is actually my first time checking out the car. But the most difficult part would have in any car will be all the elect electronic stuff. But like I said, this is not in English as yet. So I can't really go through all the features. That doesn't have a sunroof yet. Uh, maybe, I think uh, the higher model, higher trims will get sunroof and you know maybe different color seats or whatever it is but um next thing to do is just to drive this car right now all right guys so we're starting in, in echo mode all right but let's put it in comfort cars comfort or sport let's go straight to sport uh, let's see if it drives different in comfort first. But it feels feels like a, it does feel like a SUV, you know, like a, not SUV, pickups, you know, the pickups kind of bumpy and rough. It actually feels smooth. I mean, I know it's a heavy vehicle, but it doesn't feel heavy. You know, the region, the thing with the region, you can. Um, can just let it coast down the hill just on region, not using any brick. Mm -hmm. uh, drive nice. AC cool and all that. No music yet, but you can't play the music yet because of the entertainment. The language barrier thing. Probably I should learn Mandarin. You know? <laughs> oh yeah. Man. Yeah man, like I said, drive drive real good. Like you, you don't realize you're driving a pickup. It doesn't feel like a pickup. 
And I guess that's because of the, what you call it, the unibody. You know, most pickups come with the, 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 the back separate from the, from the front. This one, everything is in one. So it, it, it's gonna drive like a, a normal SUV. Drive better than a pickup. I'm going straight up sport mode now, guys. I can't bother with, with the, too much comfort right now. See, we what? What? Pick up, man. This pickup picks up. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's it quick, man. It's quick. It's really quick. You know, who is gonna drive it um, like that? You know, I don't know. Whoever whoever buys this car, I don't know if they're gonna drive it like like that. But it's good to know that you know you can can get up and go like that. Ooh. Yeah man. Yeah man, it's quick. It's quick. I like it. So um price price with this car I don't think any price is out there as yet. Um just I'm just checking it out. You know I know that it's in Jamaica and I asked to do a little you know drive and test and feel. You know you know when you go um when I go to the store and buy food, well, they don't really do that, but taste and buy. <laughs> taste and buy. You taste, you taste drive it, if you like it, you buy it. You taste the food, if you don't like it, you're not going to buy it. Don't. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go around here. You know, in Kingston, there, are, there aren't much places you can go to test drive in a vehicle, so might have to go on the airport road. Could I go all the way now? Could I go all the way? Might have to go on the airport road to test it out and see how it feels out that side. Maybe go to Port Royal and all that. But it, it's good, it's good. I like it. Drive on. Drive very nice. Is it yes or no? Right, just as fast as I pick up the region, the region um, decelerated just as fast. So you don't have to press any brick and it just decelerate real, real fast. So I can just imagine you wouldn't be doing, you wouldn't be changing the brakes um, very often because this thing here, the region, I, I, I still don't press the brake it and the car is coming to almost a stop. I see that book stop now. That's crazy, you know. The region alone, that means you're going down the hill, going on the highway, and you know you go down them steep hill. You don't have to you don't have to use no brakes. You have to use the gas more than the let me say accelerator. In this car, accelerator more than the brake. Backup camera works for sure. I can I can tell that for sure. Alright, so back home now. I'm about to plug this car in. Let it get some more charge. But yeah guys, very good car. Um, this is the first car I'm looking at. I'm going to look at more cars, but so far I like I'm liking this car. This one though is not four-wheel drive. Um, this one is just rear-wheel drive, so the four-wheel drive ones are coming, and I'm pretty sure the four-wheel drive ones are going to be way faster. Should be a lot faster. Maybe if they put more batteries in it. Yeah, but I mean more traction. So yeah, guys, I'll put the information in the description where you can find these cars and. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe and
Thanks for watching Asafa Subtain Cars.